Amittakhadu alihatan min al-ardi hum yunshirun. So Amittakhadu, have they taken ilahan or alihatan, gods, min al-ard, from the earth, whom yunshirun, who can raise the dead. So what this means is, number one, refutation of false gods. Allah denounces those who take other gods besides him. Amittakhadu alihatan min al-ardi hum yunshirun. Or have they taken gods from the earth who raise the dead? Meaning, can they bring the dead back to life? Can they bring them forth from the earth? They cannot do any of that. So how can they make them rivals to Allah and worship them alongside Him? Allahu Akbar. As we know, even the Quraysh, they believed in the higher power. They believed in Ar-Rahman, but their mistake was, what was their specific thing? that they took idols to worship alongside him, which is why we find evidence in the hadith. For example, Rasulullah sallallahu went to one person. He was like, you know, how many gods do you worship? He said, a few. And he was like, when you are in real need, who do, which one do you turn to, the one in the heavens or the one on the earth? And he was like, the one in the heaven. He said, leave the ones on the earth, just worship the one in the heaven, and I'll teach you a dua. And that dua was, Allahumma alhimni rushdi wa aizni min shakir nas. It just goes to show that the Quraysh, they believed in Allah. And in many places, the Quran, you know, Allah, he, he, he mentions it. And if you have to ask them, in man wal ard? Who created the heavens and the earth? La Allah. They will say Allah. And then how do they take part? They worship idols alongside. So it's not that they rejected Allah. Today we find it's even worse because people, they don't believe at all. SubhanAllah, may Allah protect Also, us. even worse, um, when they're in Facebook, <coughs> They won't go back to Allah, they will still stick to their posture. It's one of the major deceptions of Shaytan. He's made it in such a way that there are so many options in this life, in, the, in this world, that it's become more difficult for people to now to turn to Allah. For example, the moment, let's say, there's something happening outside, maybe a crime, who do you call? Police. Police. The moment some illness happens, who do you call first? Otherwise. What happened to making the auto Allah first? At least say Bismillah before you call. At least say Bismillah before you make the phone call. <laughs> Allah has to come first always. Yeah. He always has to come first. We always forget. We always forget. May Allah protect us. May Allah enable us to always place Him first no matter what we do. Even in the most difficult of situations. Allahu Akbar. Correct. Because it's actually in a hadith where Rasulullah said, Make dua to Allah for everything. Nothing can come to you, even the strap of your shoe, unless Allah. You mention the name of Allah in anything. May Allah protect us from forgetting. Amen. That's the main thing. Okay. لَوْ كَانَ فِيهِمَا آلِهَةٌ إِلَّا اللَّهِ لَفَسَدَتَ If there had been gods, other or partners or other ilah with Allah, then لَفَسَدَتَ Everything would be in chaos. فَسُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ So far above, perfect is Allah. رَبِّ الْعَرْشِ The Lord of the throne. Amma Yasifun over what they ascribe with him. Had there been therein gods, meaning in the heavens and the earth, besides Allah, Lafasadata, <coughs> then verily both would have been ruined. This is like the verse where Allah says, But no son did Allah beget. Nor is there any partner or ila alongside him. If if they were gods besides Allah, each one would have taken whatever they created and then they would have sought to overcome one another. They would have sought to fight one another so that they be become the one on top. In another place Allah says they would have sought to wait to the throne. So, if there were other gods with Allah, then the entire heavens and the earth would have been corrupted. Now, let's say there is one Lord and this Lord is commanding the sun rise from the east and then another one comes like no 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 you got a rise from the west bichara son poor son what's he gonna do should i rise should i not rise <laughs> what's he gonna do <laughs> but do you see for those who have multiple gods false gods take the hindus yeah constantly the conflict going left right center imagine allah gives this example in surah Zuma of a man Fihi. Uh, so, that he has multiple masters and those masters are always in conflict, always arguing. 
So he doesn't know what to do. And he gives you the example of one man who only has one master. Everything can be done in peace. Are they equal? No. Glorified be Allah, the Lord of the throne, above all that they associate with him, meaning glorified be he above what they say about him, having offspring or partners, <coughs> glorified and exalted and sanctified be he, far above all of the lies that they fabricate. La yus'alu, he will not be questioned, amma yaf'al, of what he does, wa hum yus'alun, but they will definitely be questioned. He cannot be questioned about what he does. Nobody will ever dare to question Allah. Wahum yus alun. Whilst they will all be questioned on the day of judgment, every single person will be questioned. He is the ruler whose rule cannot be overturned. He is the one who decrees, and nobody decrees over Allah. We actually say as part of a dua also. Allahumma hadini fi man hadayt. Wa afini fi man aafayt. Wa tawallani fi man tawallayt. Wa barikli fi ma aatayt. Protect me from the evil of what you have decreed. <coughs> because you decree. And nobody decrees over you. Allah has the final say in all things. al Samad, we studied the name. The one who has the ultimate authority. And so none can object to the decree of Allah. Because of his might, majesty, pride, knowledge, wisdom, justice, subtlety and complete control over creation. Yes, complete control over creation whilst they will be questioned, meaning he is the one who will ask his creation about what he did. As Allah says in another place in the Qur'an, فَوَرَبِّكَ لَنَسْأَلَنَّهُمْ Allah makes it an oath upon himself. فَوَرَبِّكَ Imagine the king himself, رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ himself, saying, by your Lord, I am going to question them. We will certainly call all of them to account for all that they used to do. عَمَّا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ and he is the one who protects. And none was none can be protected from him.